In this video, we are going to install Memvid with Olama. Memvid is a Python library that stores text data inside video files in MP4 format and enables semantic search across the stored content. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Instead of using traditional databases or vector stores, this project encodes text chunks into video frames using visual patterns and QR codes. Users can search through millions of text pieces by asking natural language questions and system retrieves relevant content in under a second. The main difference from other solutions is that everything is contained in a single video file that can be copied, shared or stored anywhere without needing database servers or cloud services. It's completely offline. Once a video is created, it uses less storage space than typical vector databases and integrates with various language models including local ones like Olama and that is what we are going to test out in this video. So let's get started. If you don't know what Olama is, it is one of the easiest tools to run large language models locally and I have covered it a lot on the channel. If you are interested, just go to my channel and search with Olama and you should be able to find a lot of videos around it. Installation is fairly sim simple. Just click on this download button. For Linux, run this command or for Mac and Windows, download this executable and then just next, next and Olama should be installed. I'm using this Ubuntu system and my GPU card is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. I already have Olama installed with few of the models present. Now, if you're also looking to rent a GPU or VM on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description from Mast Compute, of course, with a 50% discount coupon for a range of GPUs. Now, coming back to this, let's first download the models and then we will start installing uh, this memfit and we will see how to integrate it with Olama. And before that, let me quickly create a virtual environment with Conda. You can go with Python virtual environment, UV or whatever tool you want. Even without it, this should work fine. While this happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Matrix. Matrix lets you create a realistic world simulator where you can run repeated simulations as A-B tests for your marketing captions that allows marketers to test different angles and strategies and you will find their link in video's description. And now let's install our memvid. I'm going to install it with my PDF support. But if you just want to go with memvid, just to memvid here should be fine. Shouldn't take too long. We also need to install the Olama SDK. So for that, just to pip install Olama. And Memvid is now installed. For the Olama models, as I said, I already have them. If you don't, just do Olama pull and model names. For example, you can go with Gwen3 or for embedding model, go with Domic or whatever model you need or want from Olama's website. Now, why do we need two models is uh, the reason that how RAG works or retrieval augmented generation or how these embedding models work with the large language models. So what happens is that primarily what we are going to do, we are, are taking our own data and converting it into a format which is understandable by the models. Models only understand numerical vectors or embeddings and that is why we need an embedding model to convert our own data into that embedding or numerical representation. That is why we are going to go with nomics embedding model. Large language model is the model which actually takes a user's input combined with our own data and then it uses its own intelligence plus our own data to give a grounded nuanced answer and that is why we are using quen3 as a language model that is why two models and these embedding models are always very very small as you can see here it is just very very lightweight okay so that is all done now let me show you memvid in action let me take you to my vs code to show you the code so this is a code which I'm going to use in order to show this memvid in action. You know what? Let me first run this and show you how it works. I will then explain 
this code i think that will be more um, interesting so let me run the code and just to give you an idea what i'm doing i'll just go down i'm just using this sample document to as a context you can use your own data and i'm going to ask the questions grounded to this context let's run this it is going to initialize some of the internal stuff there you go so i'm not using openai i'm using nomic and quen3 it has converted so i just gave it one question initially if you go down in the code and then it has like this what programming languages are mentioned if i go up what it did it created the memory from my documents frame by frame and then it has searched that question programming languages now it is giving me the answer that python javascript and api this is the olama's full response from quen3 model there you go and for example if i ask it what is git because git is also there you go so it says the user is asking what is Git. based on the provided context let me check the context again the context says git is a version control system for tracking code let's go to the documents which i gave it to this model there you go so this is what i gave it if i just would tell it that uh, git is a tiger in a sauna it might just go that way now before i tell you how exactly this code is working i told you that it uses uh, the frame by frame vector qr codes so what is happening in this code first it is taking our text documents or these lines like python programming language converts each piece of text into a visual pattern and qr code so this is a just a function to check if olama is present this is my olama chat olama model are running on localhost at this default port let's keep coming down this is just a simple document this is where the real action starts that we it is converting each piece of text into a visual pattern qr code after initializing this memwidth encoder it uses the mem video retriever this is where it actually creates a video in mp4 format with all those encodings and then it tests the search after that it stores all these um, so it creates an index file to map which frames contains which text and then whenever we ask a question in this loop it searches through the video frames finds the most relevant text chunk based on meaning and then returns the matching text pieces if i go where my code is this is a video it creates as i ran it if i play it you see these are the encodings it has created on the basis of our own data then whenever you ask a question it also converts it into encoding or embedding uh, with the help of that nomic model and then searches through it and gives you the answer so it is pretty interesting and this is a json file it creates behind the scene and i think the format which it uses for vectors is this open source files one so this is what it is doing and if i just go here you see you can even further talk with it that okay but maybe i'll ask it who is Pahat Mirza. it is saying that okay the user is asking about Fahad Mirza. let me check the context provided the context machine mentioned machines learning and then it says none of these topics relate to Fahad Mirza. so it couldn't find me um in the context or in the embedding so that is why it is not giving me the answer so this is uh, very interesting i mean i'm not sure how much scalable that is because look i as it's a nature of this channel i don't want to create any hype or fluff but no doubt about that that this whole idea is quite interesting in terms of storing this sort of um chunks as vectors or you know sort of qr codes or visual patterns but i really want to see how exactly it scales in the real world problems because using it for making a video like this or just for a hobby project really cool but i think the we all should keep one thing in focus that at the end of the day these are the projects we want to use in our real life to extract business value or to just uh, earn some revenue so as long as these projects work there i think i'll be very very impressed now 
I'm not saying that it won't. I'm just saying that it will be really hard to make any predictions at this point in time. But other than that, you saw that how can we use it with Olama. If you need this script or um, if you are interested in learning more, maybe just a request, just buy me a coffee from here as I really spent like hours and hours to get this working. So would appreciate um, even if not, just send me an email. I'm happy to share the script with you. Other than that, please like the video, share the content. And if you like the um, whole stuff, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have, just again, please uh, market it, share it among your network. Thank you for all the support.